three hours later. And welcome once and all to another episode of Talking to Myself News. So, I'm going to put it to you bluntly, and I'm going to ask you a very simple question. Do you ever get so frustrated at yourself to where you want to bang your head into a brick wall until it bleeds? Because here lately, that's been me. And nobody is harder on me than I am. I expect so much out of myself, it's, it's practically unfathomable. But, um, I'll just, I'll, I'll say this. Last night I had probably the deepest sleep I ever had. And I woke up this morning. And my mind was playing tricks on me because my mind wanted to convince me that I was sick that I had caught the bug when in fact I really didn't. So my mind plays tricks on me for about four to five hours. I inevitably move around a little bit. I have to take some time to take a couple naps here and there. And suddenly, by 3 p.m., and, and I know you're probably not going to believe me, but... I feel a lot better, a lot better, and I'll tell you why. You see, in the grand scheme of it all, I am just one man with many life goals in this one world of which accompanies one human race and one group of seven continents. And by that, I mean seven. And I'm a man who takes very seriously what I do when I want to. When I want to, I take things very seriously. That includes helping people out, helping neighbors out. Basically, everything that I've told you before that you may already know by this point. But I'm going to just lay the foundation out for you. I'm going to lay the foundation out for you, and I'm going to tell you exactly like it is. Despite the fact that I am extremely, entirely grateful of the breath and the time and the food and water that God gives me every day, I genuinely feel defeated. So defeated, in fact, that even though it's not going to make a difference, I would have better off been choking to death on my umbilical cord after I was born to where my sister would have been an only child and my mom would still be alive. But the sad part is, it's not going to make a difference. So, while I'm a human being, I'm going to do the best I can to survive. I'm going to do the best I can to accomplish things, to help people out. To reach out. Because that is my job in life. To help people and animals out. And to experiment in as many mediums and visuals of art as I possibly can. The bottom line is this. I am a man. And you all know this. With three mental ailments. One of which legitimately categorizes me as being, you know, odd. You know, oppositional defiance disorder. In other words, I have a hard time trying to follow directions from time to time. And sometimes from any given point to another, maybe it's, in my mind, a good idea to skip my morning meds. But in reality... That's never worked. So I do what I can to take my morning meds every day and my night meds every night. 
as soon as I wake up and go to bed respectively. This is not a demotivating speech or anything. This is not really just me trying to kill about 30 minutes of your time. This is me telling you exactly what I am. I am not the most considerate person in the world. In fact, I'm far from it. I know a lot of things about people that I probably should have never known. I know a lot more in general than I should know. But that's because I listen to God and he's always right. And I'm always wrong if I don't listen to him. The point I'm trying to make is this. It's a sad day on this planet when a businessman who's not even a politician can faithfully execute the actions of the POTUS, meaning the Presidency of America or the United States, in a way that completely blows most of the 535 people in Washington, D.C., who are bottomless pits of politicians. I hold nothing against them. I don't hate them. I don't dislike them. But I respect them. And in this life, you have to respect authority. Meaning, not any human government, because all human governments are flawed. Which ties into the fact that I don't have a single thing against anybody because as, as much as I'd like to tell you that I'm lying, I'm not. But the government that God created specifically for us, I am devoutly invested in that government that God built for me. I have more faith in God than sadly I do most any human being. I'm not the best person in the world, I'm not the worst, I'm not the most inconsiderate, I'm not the most considerate. I have always been, throughout my life and until the day I die, or else I'll go into the fucking ground, six feet below, somewhere in the middle. I have always been, for whatever reason, it could be any reason at all, and at the same time it could be no reason at all. But I have always been, as was the story of my life and still is and will be, somewhere in the middle. I'm not necessarily what you would call a real man at all. Even though I've got a really cool red beard and dark brown hair to boot. But when I'm in a depressed stupor, I have to just let my feelings out silently and then I have to motivate myself to keep going. So I literally knock some sense into my head every now and then. I'm sure that there are many of you out there who do the same thing. So you can relate to my struggle and I can relate to yours because my struggle is yours and yours is mine. All human beings share the same struggle in nearly 7.7 .7 billion different ways. Those struggles are not meant to be, per se, relatable, but every human being's struggle has an individual set of circumstances that only applies to them, and this is mine. The bottom line is, when I was born, I knew wholeheartedly because I did not want to come out of that womb and I was not wrong for having thought that I knew from the very moment that I was born that I was destined for a shit life just like many of you out there who watch my content who watch other like-minded people's content who watch pretty much anything on YouTube if you've been keeping track of my DeviantArt over the last four years, you will notice that my activity has gotten a lot less active consistently over time. 
That's not to say that I'm going to close my DeviantArt account. I'm not. I'm going to keep it up there for all eternity if I have to. But at the end of the day, I'm a man who is addicted to computers and has been since 2001. Since I was eight years old. So this is 18 years. Going on 20 the year after next. But ladies and gentlemen, what I am really meant to tell you is some truths are not meant to be understood, they're just meant to be accepted. And the truth is, I'm a pussy. I am very, very lanky. I'm completely out of shape, despite the fact that I'm only 179 pounds as of the last time I weighed in last week. But at the end of the day, what I have done in this life, I fear is going to amount to nothing. Now, by the time I upload this episode of Talking to Myself News, you will notice a brand new shockumentary about the political correctness police, namely the mainstream media, namely Rothschild, namely pretty much any human government in general. And you wonder why we're at a .76 on the Kardashev scale. Because we don't know how the hell to govern ourselves collectively. We just don't. We don't know how to govern ourselves collectively. And because of that, we are prone to flaws and errors that, in almost any case, are well within our control and the occasional few that aren't. As you know, when I was going on 13, 14 days old in 1993, about the beginning of August of that year, I watched an episode of Jeopardy, and that is when I learned to vocalize. So I hummed the entire Jeopardy theme at 13 or 14 days old, from what I can recall, and I can't recall a whole hell of a lot. And that's when my passion for all things artistic and visual and, and audiological began. I would not fully realize this for the next 20 years. But when I did, you can bet your ass, I took full advantage of it, and I took the ball, and I ran with it. Because I needed to show to every single person who has ever doubted me in life, grade school included, that I am not the timid, scaredy cat that I'm allowing myself to be made out to be. And this is my fault too. I know it. Every day. And so with every passing day... I realize there's got to be a purpose for me in this world. So I figure, why not look up to God and listen to Him? That's what I try to do every day. Feels like it's pointless sometimes, but at the end of the day, I manage. Because it's all about taking it one step at a time. One day at a time. One inch at a time. One brick at a time. One box at a time. And so it's finally dawned on me after some 26 years that even though my life is going to amount to nothing inevitably, you're damn right I'm going to make the most of this life. And I'm absolutely going to at least, I have to, because, you know, if I don't, then what does that make me look like? A fucking idiot. Like some dumbass. But... My goal in life now is to help as many people as possible in and around my community, online or off, just as I've been doing for basically a couple years, three years, maybe. In any case, I'm just a human being, just like all of you, 
You're just as human as I am. I'm just as human as you. And we all lead the same life in about 7.7 .7 billion different ways. I will demonstrate to you why this is so important. So this, as you can see, is my shadow. Every human being, every animal, every plant, every tree, every form of life on this planet or any other has a shadow of some kind. This shadow is a reflection of what I am. Now, aside from what I've already confessed to you, the fact that I have a Machiavellian complex, the fact that I really don't know what I'm doing a lot of the time, so I have to fucking ask a question before I jump into it. The fact that every day I wake up and I feel almost every day that I am genuinely a waste of God's effort and time says a lot, a lot about my overall outlook of the future of humanity because there is none. At the rate we're going, there is none. You see, folks, this is what I intended to show to you earlier. The first part of this video, of course, I recorded a couple of days before. This is the second part. And ladies and gentlemen, when you are faced with a set of circumstances as unusual as mine you have to take into consideration the fact that for so many years I have displayed pretty much every single talent I can under the sun but at the end of the day I just don't really know what to do with it most of the time so I use it to the best of my knowledge to evolve further, to get to understand life better, to get to understand myself better, to understand God better. And that comes with each passing day. And though I may be some no life, white trash pushover with only 300 subscribers to his name, on a site where you could literally post a meme and it give you 10,000 subscribers instantly. The fact that I have stayed tried and true to my formula and have evolved it over time in the six years that I've been on YouTube is extremely indicative of the person that I have allowed myself to become. Which, if you think about it, says a lot about the way that I have paved for myself and the many corners that I have worked myself into. So, the fact that I have been able to get out of said corners simply by doing whatever it is that was required and necessary of me, that was a prerequisite or a co-requisite of me to keep going in life, to keep living. That shows that my will is in fact stronger than death. And that's not to plagiarize on the phrase that also happens to be the title of a Graveland album you know, Graveland being the solo project of a man named Rob Darkin, a very prolific, a very prolific Polish musician who has ten albums to his credit and an additional five that are Polish translations to other albums that he had recorded and released previously. 
But that's beside the point. Robert Fudali, his his real name. That is Rob Darkin's real name. Robert Fudali. And I plan to follow in his footsteps one day. I legitimately plan to, after I release all of my music in a few years, because it's not going to happen anytime soon, I'm sorry to say. Because when the economy is this piss poor and you're the fourth wealthiest nation in the world that also has the worst political and educational system on the planet you're left to just say you know what maybe I should put this off for a little bit because it's obvious I'm not going to have enough money for it for now and that's going to be the case for the next few years anyway because let's face it I started my musical projects from home. All of my recordings I do at home. All of my musical recordings. Every song that I compose for my solo projects, be it RUN, be it Urban Landscape, being My Paradox, be it Revitalian, those four solo projects of which I am the sole and founding member of are very, very indicative of the audiation process that I have attained throughout the years. So, this thing that I promised to show you earlier in the video, this shadow of which is speaking to you now, I find, ladies and gentlemen, that this shadow which reflects in the light is a clear representation of the untapped potential that I have. All the potential that I've been able to achieve and obtain over the last six and a half years and yet there is so much untapped potential left in me that I just cannot see or do not see or may never see but it's also something that I'm not really meant to see because as long as I know that I have untapped potential I can dig deep enough to reach inside and grab as much of that untapped potential as possible to where someday someday one day Everything that I've ever done from eight years old onward will inevitably become a reality for me. And no matter how long it takes me to finalize that and realize that and put it to paper and that paper turns into reality and I turn that paper into reality the fact of the matter remains just like every other human being just like you or anything else I too will inevitably pass on and become nothing my spirit however which is encased in this skin prison will have left this body long before and it'll hopefully be in heaven and I do genuinely feel like this despite all the swearing that I do despite all the bad that I've done I do feel genuinely 100 percent that I will go to heaven when I die because the God that I trust is the same God that made you and I and everything we see and touch and sense and feel and hear and taste and everything you know that God made me specifically to be a shining beacon in a world full of pitch black invisible darkness 
I don't know what that says in your mind. I don't know. I, hell, I don't even want to know what you guys think. Because I already know what you're going to think. You're going to think, well, this guy's crazy. He belongs in an insane. No, he doesn't. That guy is me. There's only one person who can be me, and that's me. It's not you or anyone else. It's me. And God, who lives through me just as much as I through him. And the same can be said vice versa. There's nobody on this planet that can be you. Not even me, despite my best efforts. Except for you. It's all about being the best version of yourself that you can be. Which is why I do talking to myself news. And why for the first time in a couple of seasons. I have finally resorted back to the style that made this show in my honest opinion. Decent. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but I can honestly say that there is at least one of you people out there, hell, there is at least a hundred of you out there. that are just like me. In fact, I haven't pushed the envelope far enough. Even though I've pushed it far enough as it is, I still haven't pushed it as far as it needs to go, so I'm going to push it all the way. Every single one of you people are in my position. Under differing sets of circumstances, depending on what you are, who you are, where you come from, and what you stand for. Because, as I've said before, each person's situation, despite being relatable to everyone else, only applies to them because it's everyone else's struggle, but that person is sharing it under said person's own set of circumstances. And as I've stated, this is mine. Do you understand, people? I'm not trying to be a malcontent. I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer or a douchebag or a dick or an asshole about it. I just happen to know far too much for my own good and I happen to say too much for my own good and that gets me into trouble and I learn from it every day I know there's not a single one of you out there that haven't been in my position at least once in your lives So, Talking to Myself News isn't just a show that chronicles my struggle as a human being. Talking to Myself News, as has been the case for five seasons, is a show that showcases the struggles of all human beings all animals, all forms of life on this planet. And so, I conclude this episode of Talking to Myself News with a simple reminder. If you ever 
feel like you just don't deserve to be in this world anymore, you just want to off yourself, look up the National Suicide Hotline, okay? And call their number, and they'll talk to you and help you out. If you're ever in a situation where you want to end it all, do not overlook that opportunity to talk to them. They will help you get through it. And even though I've never called them once at all, at some point I'm going to feel so down on myself to where somewhere down the line, it could be tomorrow, it could be 20 years from now, it could be any time. I don't know when that's going to happen, but inevitably that time is going to come and I'm going to have to follow my advice as well, just like all of you may have to follow my advice when that situation arises for you in your respective situations. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out. Have a good day. And until next time, don't be like Popeye. God damn me, why did I even do <laughs>